for the hook. Um, pull that out. Yep. Just shot me as you go. Yep. Okay, now uh, the battery switches are on your right um, towards the back. So battery one, battery two, skip the AC reset. And then there's a battery genera uh, generator reset switch next to the voltmeter. Okay. Okay, so now we've got battery power, parking brakes in. Um, what we're going to do is close canopy. Cool. Right, so left hand side, you've got the engine on and start switch. Uh, looking. Yep. Give it a click, it should go to start and then spring back to on. Yep. Yay or no? Yep, yep, put it on. Okay, cool. So then what we're going to do is, if you have mapped your um, GTS, you can press that now. Have a look. Uh, GPS. So just press and hold the GTS. You'll see the RPM come up, and you'll get GTS ready light on your uh, advisory panel. Am so my GTS has just come on? So now I'm gonna hold the engine start switch, and my RPM goes up. And just looking at my bindings. What am I looking for? Hold up. Uh, gas turbine starter. Right shift in home. Yep, it's on. Okay, so let it run and on that as I said that advisory panel at the front, you should get a GTS light. Yep, got it green. Yep, now hold that engine start switch forward on start. And you should see a ready light that comes up. Check. Yep, now you see the, the uh, finger lift on the back of the throttle. Give that a click to let it go up to uh, ground idle. Check. Happy? So then it's MFDs are on, get all the comms on and everything else that you need. And then you've got the hydraulic 2 reset which is the same as the Hawk. Leave the anti-skid off, we don't want it now. So as it displays on, my FITO can go on now because we're about to get moving. Alright, MFDs on. Uh, nav and Takan on, HUD on. And yeah, so at this point, whenever you're ready, you can just jump in the back of mine. Roger. Okay, don't take control, because both are set to full control without asking permission. Right, okay. So just so you know. So, have you got that kneeboard page handy? Just have a look now. Let's look you through what our plans are. No, it's not showing off of mine. Okay. No worries. Well, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get a move on. So my park brake's going in. There it is. No loss during high. Just checking free movement. Am I going to? Um have to do the flaps in the gear like we do in the MB. Yes, you will. 
So I think after you despawned, it's done something funny with the uh, people there. They're not going to launch us, are they? That's fine. I'll just left to do it the uh, the naughty way for now, just to get us up. So uh, we'll start off um, with the departure first, basically. So we're going to go out on BLC, which we'll check in a moment. Um, but we'll run off. Uh, we'll do our clearing turn. Uh, we'll go as if we've gone on the right-hand cat shot because we're going to have to go through to the waste. Um, and what we do is we have our clearing turn and then it's 300 knots, 500 feet, plus 7 nautical miles, and then it's unrestricted. So we'll come back then and we'll rejoin onto the, uh, the hold, basically, for uh, case 1. And we can talk through that a little bit. What we'll do is we'll join that at, let's call it 6,000, and then we'll, uh, let's call it 4,000, and then we can step down a couple of times while we're talking through it. Okay? Roger. So let's have a quick look and see what this thing is doing. Right, two, three, seven. So you should be able to control your own MFDs as you want. I'd probably recommend you set the HUD on the left, HSI on the right. Yep. Just double checking my numbers. I'm setting our course as two, three, seven. Let's just shift to the RC. And I'm going to leave us in plan mode at a scale of 10, just because the CDI is a little bit temperamental. So, um, so I'm 267, and it's actually 261. Apologies. Two three one. Sorry, I'm losing the plot. Okay, are you happy? Cool, so we're at uh, 3 degrees, nose up trim, um, 4 flaps for what we're doing. Check your speed brakes in. So we go 85, TSPs are good, flow is good. That's 4 whack, and I'm releasing now. So end speed should be about 1. 30 just below as it stands, so yeah, this puts us in good stead, so there we go. My gear and flaps both travel at the same time all the way through. Yep, traveling. Okay, that's set to 231, I'm still full power, trimming nose down now. Power is starting to come down as we get up to 300 knots. So I've got my tack on my uh, headset display. Got that box. I'm in plan mode, as we said. Happy there. And what we'll do um, is we're going to come at it. And you can you can enter this this uh, this hold essentially this circle that. Uh, pretty much on any heading. It, what's important is the altitude that you're coming at it from. Roger. So we we start at 2. 2,000 is the lowest it goes and then it's at 1,000 feet increments after that. There's a limit to how many that can be in there at each, each set. You usually find it tends to be a pair or two pair. Yeah. You know, two, two pair from one flight. That's five nautical miles, I'm looking out, right side's clear. Who's going to be in a pulley, pulling up and shooting out left? We're trimmed, fuel's good, clock's running. So 6.9, power's on, that's our exit. And let's go upstairs. That's the departure. I'm not going to lie, it's so weird having no control. <laughs> I love it. I love being in the back. I feel like I'm on YouTube or something, you know, kind <laughs> of uh, filming in the back of a hawk. 
Yeah. So what we do now is I'm I'm flying, rolling. Um, I'm looking at HSI. I want to put the the ship 90 degrees to us, and then I'm just I'm going to cut in a little bit and almost keep it there, just to just to make sure we're staying a little bit far away. Because um, what we don't want to do is cut into that whole circle at any point. Yeah, yeah. You want to come into it from an outside tangent. Um, so I can roughly see where we're going to be going. So let's bring it back down to 4,000. So what we're going to do is uh, come into it at 4,000 feet, um, 250 knots. And basically just have a bit of a, a poke about. Um, you can descend on the rear side. So if you look at it from the carrier's perspective, this this circle has four edges to it, right? Yep. Yeah, one at the top. So one over the carrier, two, three, four. And so you want to descend um, on the back side. And you want to climb on the front side if you ever needed to. Yeah. And that's just make sure that you're not getting people that are descending onto each other. So we're a little bit inside, but I'm not too worried. So carries over there. You want to be within five nautical miles. So this. So we've got our slotted altitude. I'm going to slow it down now. Get back up to four and start my rate three to bring us in and tidy up. So at this point you could be doing your HALA checks. So for us, you know, it's hook heat, um, so the hook's down, ACLS is off, anti-skid is off, ICLS not going to be using it. Lights are fine. Landing weight is okay. We've got no stores. Fuel is at uh, 1200. And radar off is out of our hands. So all good. Right, squeezing in just to get us to the right place. So what we do at this point now is stick to our section. So the good news is, and the P45, you're not trusted to uh, do anything without being told to um, when you're doing carrier qualification. So you won't you won't be doing um, like the zip lip where nobody's talking and it's all done visually looking at the spec below you. You know, yeah, yeah. That, that the Zen comes from the fleet. So in the C45 you will stay at your altitude until someone calls you down. So they might call us down now to 3,000, which is like, okay, cool. Well, we still need to get past that that far position so that we're on the back side. But we're pretty much set now as we are. Um, just keeping one eye on the HSI, it looks fine. One eye up, one eye on the outside as well. Make sure no one's coming in. And so once we get past that uh, that midpoint, which is now, we can start our gentle descent. We've got time, you know. We've, we're uh, we're going to be at that at that altitude again so that we're level by the time we're back over the carrier. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's no rush to any of this at all. I say in reality there is, there is no rush, you know, because it's... especially when it's in the fleet and it's cyclic operations, you've, you've got whole squadrons and whole flights all coming in. So very methodical. Any questions for me so far? Negative. Cool. 
you see we're coming up to 3,000. See the carrier there looking lovely. It's very beautiful. A nice little bit of wind, which is fine, suits us. So I might say again to 2000, which we'll do, and then we'll start making our arrangements then. Roger. So what we do next is, with the BRC as we have it, uh, you need to add 30 degrees to the reciprocal, right? And that's the, the heading that we're going to take when we commence. Um, so, so to commence is when we basically drop out of this stack at the bottom to then get on with our, our lives and go and cause some trouble elsewhere. <laughs> It's level for now. Twenty degrees angle of bank should pay more attention. And that'll come from the ADI. So the wind's pushing us back. Carry is obviously travelling as away as well. So once we pass this half we'll drop down to uh 2000, so we'll do one more turn and then we'll commence. So, what was our 231? What's our reciprocal of 231? You're asking me maths questions, you ain't gonna get an answer. Alright, well, bear in mind you're not flying. Uh, hang on, uh, alright, calculator. Okay, easier. So, 23, what's that closest to that's that's always on the uh, the rows? We've got 24, alright, inverse of that is 6. Zero 06, we're down by 9, that's down by 9, zero 051, add 30 degrees, zero 081. So zero 081 will be where we commence, and what will happen then is we essentially accelerate to 350, drop down to uh, basically our brake height. So let's see, we're pretty far away now. So we're past our halfway. Squeeze it in because we're going to be here all day. Got a bit of wind to make up for it as well. So 2000, we're bottom of the stack. So uh, what you do now is is by now you're not really worried about anyone that's that's immediately around you. Um, he's looking at what's going on on the deck of the ship. So, you would have dropped down either because you've been told to, or because uh, the flight below you's commenced, right? Right. So, what you're judging now is that time from commencement to hitting the deck. You, you want to basically use your super zen powers to judge when, when is the right time for you to drop in so that the guys on the deck just about have enough time to to basically ready the deck for you. Just judging that distance to the aircraft in front basically. It's all done on time. All on time, so we're ending up a chunk back now. So, not the best demo. Much happier in the F 18 doing 300 knots, but you get the gist of it anyway. Stay within five nautical miles of the boat. So there might be times that you get called to climb in the stack because if your squadrons come come in and you're dropping down or somebody's got a ship fuel situation and they bump in, they might say you need to climb upstairs by two slots and then they go and enter directly below you kind of thing. Okay, so 
are right so what we can do is our last one now and it's going to be rate 3 because it is windy and it's blowing us away from the carrier so that's my last one so we're essentially going to things will happen a little bit quicker now um, as we get ready so our hook's already down so that's one less thing to worry about fuel's good um, as I say as soon as we get onto that 081 um, we're going to let wings level get the power on and the nose down um, call it the commencing and then we use the magic of maths to put us in the right place and that's where I will be screwed no no it's easy easy maths some of it doesn't even need any calculation you just need to remember the numbers right so we're getting close to our commence so there it is whatever our board number is 118 commencing wings level checking the dead wing i thought i saw a boat but i didn't power's on trim it nose down as you say it's 350 at 5.2 nautical miles from the boat i'm going to start a left turn rate three at 350 5.1, 5.2, there it is, there's the rate 3. So the same as we did in the, the F-18 a while back. Uh, in the F-18 we usually do it at 7.2, um, just conscious of the wind and we're going to end up a million miles away otherwise. So what we're doing now is we're, we're, we've extended slightly um, from that holding circle with a higher speed. And now we're making the same rate turn, but at a higher speed means the hold turn is going to be a little bit larger. But what you should see is if you're in the right place and your mass is fine, then we'll end up coming up on an initial, basically. Yep. Happy? Yep. Wonderful. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll do a break. Um... No, we won't actually. We're going to do a, uh, a spin. So, just keep an eye on the wind, increasing the turn a little bit. Um, so, the spin basically is when you're coming up and you've you fucked up your time, basically, and it's going to take you. Uh, you, you need more time, the deck isn't ready for you, right? Right. So there is already a flight that have broken and they're, they're doing their lap around the boat basically. So what we want to do is basically go back up, but we don't want to rejoin the top of the stack wherever that is. Forget that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we do is we basically when we call the spin we go up to uh 1200 feet at the break point so our break is 1.2 nautical miles forward of the of the shift right right so 350 800 feet you want to be slightly right of the boat suits us Nice hack hands. Needs a reset, so let's work that on off and on again. There we go, that's a bit better. Two, three, one looks about right, doesn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do is basically we're going to go, oh shit, this is looking way too busy for us. We fucked it up, we miscalculated, so we need to spin up. So we want to make sure we still stay below the 2,000 feet that is the bottom of the stack. And we definitely want to stay above the 500 feet that the guys on departure would be coming out at. If this was all happening at the same time, like it does with the uh, carrier course of the T45. Right, yep. So we've gone right, that's that's a misjudgment. We're on 231 at 800 feet, 350. T through to 1200 knots. And call it you're in the spin, so there it is. And all those we're going to do now is get up to 1200 feet, 
keep the 350, and we're basically just going to get ourselves back round to initial again. Make sense? Yep. So we fucked everybody else's day up, but <laughs> not ours, at least. need to commence again so it's still at 081 checking above no one's going to descend onto us and flatten us call the commence again off we pop we've got quite a chunk of wind so just being mindful and off we go again so if you go for the spin I'm guessing everyone else in the stack, they get them to hold at their current altitude. Yeah, they wouldn't be coming down to flatten you. <laughs> Unless it's zip lip and you really have fucked it up and the, the one that's at the bottom of the stack has already uh, dropped down, but they shouldn't have by that point. So you'd have your three mile initials, we're kind of coming in a little bit tight on this, just because we only got the way out there again, we've already done it. But we'll break at 1.2, just like the F-18, so you that 1% one, 1 rule on the G for the break. Yep. Um, gear and flats as, as they come down. And then it's down to uh, 600 feet on AOA when you're a beam. It's a little bit closer than in the F-18. F-18 is about 1.2. Anywhere between 1.1 and 1.2 nautical miles. C-45, I think they've gone about 0.9. Right, okay. So it, it, it'll feel close, but it, because it's all happening a, a touch slower, it's, it's not so bad. So that's us initial, a little bit close, but that's fine. Hooks down and everything else is set, so we already, we've already done our checks anyway, so we're good. Just keep an eye on that fuel now, and that's, uh, that's 650 pounds. Okay, so deck looks clear, no one's on there. It's not fouled or anything else, there's nobody that's a beam or going around in the 90. Watching the tack out now. That's 1.1, that's 1.2, there we go. Snap, roll, pull. Bring the G up gently, the level break, so G up, allow the G to come down with everything else. That's gear and flaps. So I'm allowing everything to come down, speed brake's coming out now, just to bring it down. Speed brakes back in, power's on. So you see that's 1.0 on the TACAM, we're at 600. I'm happy with all of that. That's just a beam. We go to about 1.3, there it is. Rate three turn, so I'm trimming, and it's power for pitch, right? Yep. Power for pitch, speed brake stays in at the minute, that'll come out as we get round. Now I'm looking at the carrier, so I didn't look at it uh, until I said something. So don't bother looking back over your shoulder at it, because there's no way you can really judge where you're meant to be over the shoulder, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see that rate three turn? It's pretty much set us crossing the wake, coming up where we want to be? Yeah. Gun cage in the head display now. Now the gear brake comes out and the power goes on. 
So I have got my supercarrier eye folds off so I can just see what's on the carrier, making sure the trim's good. The trim is good. There we go. I can see the ball now. I can see with low, which is what we want in this because it's not adjusted for the T45. You want to be slightly low. It looks a bit rubbish in VR. It's hard to tell, but I can I can see it. And then what happens then as soon as we touch down it's speed braking, power on. Okay. Yep. So there we go, power's on, speed brakes in. You tell me what that was. Uh there's no comms, I didn't tell you. Uh, oh, I thought you might have seen it out of the back. No. Okay, so the nozzle's doing high hooks up, flats up. I was shocked how much it bounces around after it's been <laughs> caught on the, uh, on the wire. Yeah, it's horrible. Right, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it could be fun. fun. If you want to jump in a different one and start it up, let me know once you, your engine's running and I'll, I'll jump in. Once your engine's running and hydraulic resets press. Did you just eject? No. <laughs> I heard it go off, I was like, what the fuck was <laughs> that? And then kind of realised that it's you and what it was. Happy? Yep, just getting everything started up. Okay, I'm in the back. Ooh, I'm gonna be sick, it's bouncy. Yeah, I found that. <laughs> Seconds 9-9, nine, nine. X-ray. Courses two, three, one. Uh, uh, course set two, three, one. Tack and set nine, nine. Okay, I am happy if you're happy. So that's. Straps are all the way down for me, trim is 3 degrees nose up. Gears down, spree brakes are in, hooks up. Right, where are you seeing your trim? Say it again? Where are you seeing your trim? Uh, left hand side, same as the Hawk. So just on the, the left of the hydraulic reset switch. So you got over on. On the right, um, the elevator on the left, and then rotor at the bottom. Yeah. Just below the launch bar switch, in front of the throttle. All oh, right, yeah, I've got you now. So trim, flaps, engines run in, lights on, HUD on, MFD set, tack hand set. Uh, I think that should 
Okay, yeah, so we'll leave them. See if the crew are going to uh, react to me or not. Should do, yeah, take that one. That's fine. They'll pick you up pretty close then, so. There we go. Cool. All right, you know what to do then. E flaps full. A flap. Okay. Full power. It needs literally all of it to catch up to that buddy thing. Ah, uh, yeah, it could get stuck in it a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so much power. Happy? Yep. Alright, let's power all the way up. Sweep the controls, so full full movement. Check control surfaces, make sure you're happy. I see everything moving. That one looks good to me. So salute when you're ready, and what we'll do is, yep, slight 10 degree clear and turn back on to 230 again. Uh, 500 feet, 300 knots, we'll go from there. Alright, salute. End speed's good. There you go, don't pull too hard. Okay, let's gear flaps now. Keep the power on. Clear, get that clear in turn. And back again, two three zero. Mindful of that five hundred feet. That's our like upper limit. And three hundred knots as well, so keep an eye on both of those now. Don't go over. There we go, bring that throttle back already. Christ, it's hard to see the HUD. So Yeah, there's a lot going on, right. Keep your head out, so we're drifting. Head out, head out. Bring that nose up as well, get your trim set. I'm trying to adjust the HUD so I can actually see it, because I can't even see the HUD. Uh, so you want a cage? Cage. Uh, do you need to map it? I've got a cage. Okay, that should be easier. So make sure we're all trimmed because it looks like you're fighting a bit. It should settle. It, it tends to at the moment. The flight model has a tendency for right wing down. Um, I'm just using the HUD on my NFT. <laughs> I yep. can see it then. Okay, so looking good. Got a little bit longer to go. And then at 2.7, just go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Um, if we go to 2000 and redrawing at the whole sub level, we'll go from there. If you're doing a second two. What distance do your attack hand stay? Uh, 7.2, so we're ah, good okay. to go now. Have you caged attack hand on the HFI? I have, yep. Yeah, I've got it at 7.7, 7 7.8. 7 oh, okay, yep, remember that. Good power control, looking really good. We can start coming left now. So clear right. that speed is creeping up. You can get 
get more turn rate than this. That's more like it. Yep, just keep this going to the reciprocal now. So we'll have a little bit of right to the left wind. Um, so just be mindful. Gotcha. Coming up on it now. Yeah, that'll do. Dead wings clear. This looks good. So what we need to do. Um, let's live with 300. Um, 250 is a bit awkward in this. It's uh, not behaving too well. So we'll keep it rate 3 um, as you need it to be. So at this point they already know that we're here. Otherwise we would have called um, 50 nautical miles away uh, that we're inbound. We give them our position um, relative to the carrier and then our uh, altitude and our fuel state. Okay. All looks fine to me. We'll do one, one, uh, one circle, and then we can commence. Um, and what we'll do is we'll, uh, we won't spin. And then the only other thing then is if you if you have a bolter, um, you basically keep your keep your gear and flaps down, retract your speed brake, and climb to six hundred and turn to a beam at 600. Right, okay. So, this is a good position. Looking nice. Not much drift. So we can start our turn now. Rate 3, and again. There you go. Touch more bank. Yep, got it. Uh, keep an eye on the speed as well now. You might end up doing a touch more bank as well because it's, uh, you see already now we're turning over and it's blowing us out to the, uh, the east. Still happy? Yep, so far. Cool. Mine feels fine, we're at 1-1. One, one. Yeah, just want to show. Yeah, pull that turn in a little. Not too much yet, there you go. So we've just got some accounting for wind to do. Dead side's clear, so. This looks spot on. Keep it as it is, no more, no less. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now lose the loss. So we want to be able to slightly right so we can still see down onto the deck, see what's going on. All right. And we can start now again. So rate three, pass over. Is this the point I'm dropping my hook or? Yep. Hook traveling. Yep, mine's down as well. So, deck's still clear. So remember, we're adding 30 degrees to the reciprocal, so you do the math. Decide when we're commencing. Uh, reciprocal 231. Uh, adding 261. So we want the reciprocal of 231. So opposite opposite heading to 231. No, I can't do that math. That's too much for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's make it 08. So as we come up to 081, um, going to be wings level, power, trim nose down. So don't push the stick down, trim nose down, okay? Right, okay, so come on zero eight one. Yeah, we can do it now with the wind as well. So yeah, let's go. 
So trim those down, power, break it down now, so it'd be 113, I think we are commencing. I um, might go to our fuel state again, I've got us at uh, still 1-1. Power's on, get the power on, we want 3.50 now. Bit more nose down, got places to be. <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll keep going to uh, 7.2 nautical miles. So about, about a thousand feet, you can always drop the uh, the last 200 as we're coming around. So there we go, make our turn now, rate right three left. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that touch more to make up for uh, make up for the wind. Touch more, touch more. Good power. It's still a little slow. Good. Don't really go quick though. The faster we go, the further we're going to push past the uh, the wake of the the ship as we turn out, but a little extra bank, a little extra bank, there you go, just to account for, because what we do now is we've got the uh, the winds pushing us, what, easterly, it's, it's, it's increasing the distance that we need to going to take to uh, to get through all this turn. Looks good to me. Quite far out, but that's fine. There are worse things. Right, still happy? Yep. Cool, watch that speed. This side's clear. I've got us at uh, Joker 1. Roger, thanks. That's good, seems I've been guessing your <laughs> throttle position. Yep, alright, relax now, because we're a little bit left. So, uh, yeah, if we. Da -da -da, yeah, looks good. We can adjust as we get in. So, be what it is, got a 3 nautical mile initial, everything looks good to me in the back. So one last run through then, so hooks down, anti-skid is off, our weight is fine, so those are, those are the checks that we can do. Right, I'm and all of our lights should be off. 800 feet. 351 indicate 350. Yep, that's fine. Okay, we can uh, adjust left ever so slightly now. We're all in this position, looks really good. Yep, good, fine, no problem. This and you don't come too far left, so we're just about right again because we've got that, that ever so slight right to left wind. Comes out about 233, three, 234, three, that's what we want to be aiming for. Yep, looks good. So we check in the deck, make sure everything looks good. My advice to you is as soon as that gear and flaps come down during the break, get on and hold that nose up trim button. Right. It has a long way to go. Right, so get it hold it right the way, all the way through after you've slowed down to bring your gear and flaps up, okay? Yep. So we're looking at what two thirty. Flaps 1 at about 220, flaps 2 at about 180. Alright, let's break. Ooh, eager beaver. Easy. Bring the nose up. Bring the nose up. There you go. Nose up. Nose up. Yeah, keep the nose over the horizon now because we dropped a little bit. That's fine. Bit more pull. Keep going. Keep going. You've still got a way to go. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Gear and flaps. Get them all going. Got a little bit longer to go. Right. Let's re break out. Leave the throttle at about 80. We went 600 feet. Come right over slightly. 
Yep, looks good, looks good. How are you with the trim? Yep, getting there. Keep trimming, keep trimming, keep trimming. Speed brake can come back out again now, just put the turn on. Power on now, power on now before we sink, because that's worth it. Okay, good, 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 good. Let the altitude come up. Let's start our rate three to the left now. Remember, power for pitch. So power, 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 power. More power. More power. Ignore the airspeed, doesn't matter what it's saying. Get the trim going. Bit more turn. There it is. Pitch. So trim, 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 trim. A little bit less power, so we're not climbing. But trim to get the e-bar, and then power to control our descent rate. All right, we can loosen off a little bit now because we're quite far back. That's fine though. So let's keep it level. Get your speed brakes out now. Power should be coming up at the same time. That's fine. That's fine. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm holding it right. Okay, so we want to be sticking that velocity vector. Have you got the ball floating magic picture? Yes. Alright, we want to be one ball down from datum. I've not even got okay, the ball. Okay, you don't want to go dead on datum because then you'll, you'll land high. So we're a little bit... I'm looking over your right shoulder. We're a little bit left, but that's fine. The ball looks okay to me now. No lower. No lower. Power on. Power on. Power on. More power. I'm going to leave it that late again. That looks okay. That looks fine. Power now. Power now, Scott. Yeah, yeah power's coming up. We're high. More power now. Fine. Way Go high. To the left. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. I think we've got different B angles. So, speed brakes in. Leave everything else where it is. So, gear and flaps stay down. And as you were, so come left. Come left. Whack the power in. Keep it in and let it get the nose high. So, climb. We're descending now. Up, 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 up. There you go. That's better. Ease it, ease it now. We don't want to go over 600 feet. That's really good. More power now. Really nice. More angular bank. More angular bank. Keep it going, keep it going. That's looking really sharp. Okay, so if we keep it at a rate three, uh, roll level now. Just to delay for a second. And again, back into the rate three left. And keep it at a rate three left. Make sure you trend again. Let the nose come down. About about four hundred feet per minute descent rate. A little bit more than that. A little bit less than that. Okay, that looks really good. So, eyes out now, we're past the 90. Look where we are, we can loosen off a bit. I'm going to ignore you from the back, because I'm obviously two bloody feet higher than you are, so... Yep. I'm not... I wasn't very helpful. I say I'm showing one bar above at the moment. Okay, yep, that's fine. Power on, though. Power on, you don't want to... You don't want to let it drop for more than a second or so. You know, you don't want to just watch it sink through. So, we're just early. Get us back on AOA now, because we're not going to hit otherwise. So speed brakes out, get that bar down. We're drifting to the left again. Kick it right. That's, that looks good. Neat ball looks really good from back here. Nice. Power, speed brakes in. Okay, let's go. Same again, 600 feet. Leave everything else as it is. How's your uh, e-bar when we touch down? Uh, e-bar was high. I was still in a bit fast. Okay. That's the most important thing. So get our nose down now. We're past our uh, contract. So we need to be at 600. Um, 
but timing is worth the looking better. You see, if you just have that rate three and you trust it, you end up pretty much coming out in the right place. Pull that in a bit tighter because we're pretty far out. That's looking good now. Keep pulling, keep it going in. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's let's rate three, but loosen off a touch just because we're starting quite wide. So let's go in between. That looks really good. All right, trim now. So you want us to keep that trim. Don't pull on the stick. Do it all with the trim and power. So let the power come down, let the speed come down, and trim to keep the nose where it is, if that makes sense. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yep, trust it. Now power, now power. And that adding power is going to induce a bit of nose up, so don't worry about it. Okay, we're a touch, touch far out, but that's okay. So don't climb now, just level off on the horizon. Level off, level off, level off on the horizon. So get that nose up. Fine, and now, once we're settled. So you're going to be descending below the ramp of the deck. Come on, get it in. You don't want to be descending out, out of control at this point. So are you happy where that velocity vector needs to be on that heel of the boat? Yeah. Well, that way, so, so, right, speed brake should be out all the way. Full flat. Drop the power because we've still got the uh, high E bar. So trim, 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 trim. As we did, trim as you need to. More trim. There it is, okay. Good. Don't power early. So keep it as it is. Keep it as it is. That looks tidy. Now power and brakes. Free okay. wire. Cool. Speed brakes are in, throttle cuts back, flaps go up. And then you can know all steering high yourself off the uh, deck. How do you feel about all that? You got there in the end. It's just that, that. E bar, it's a bastard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's impossible without the speed brake. You just, you'll, you'll never get that angle of attack right. So, happy? Yeah. Don't need to go away and practice and get used to. I don't know if I have played the, uh, the Hornet in a sec. In the F14. <laughs> 14 well, is a nightmare. Oh, ouch, I hit the deck and... Kill me. Cool. Well, that was good. Oh. Smacking DCS off. <sighs> Stream.